Hey, that's K. What's going on, Lucy? Sorry, bro. How you doing, brother? Up to speed on my day today. What's going on with you? Hey, same, same, same. Brother, what's going on with the uh, with all these robberies and shit? What this morning? Which one? Yeah, yeah like <laughs> honestly, I could say which one on both parts. Right, right, right. So from what I, from my understanding, it's been a back and forth, and um, some uh, some of your boys' guns were taken away, and uh, those guns were returned. Seemed the beef was squashed, but then Terry comes up a, on a bike onto Cypress and robs one of my pushers. Yeah, so I feel like it's not much of a secret here, Luciano, that we have, uh, you know, in the past couple of weeks, had a fair share of instances, I feel like, you know, we kind of take, take in a note on them. And I'm going to just come clean to you on one thing right now. Um, there's, there's a few things in the past couple of weeks it's been building up. One thing is we had a guy in your trunk not that long ago, right? We had uh, some moonshine robbed, a few stills that were fucked with. And we kind of had our suspicions that it might have been some of your people's. So we hit them up, basically asked them, yo, did you have any involvement in this? And it was straight denied, right? Little did they know, my second in command was in their trunk. And as they drove away, they said, ha ha ha, they're never gonna know. We did that shit, we did that shit. We keeping that to ourselves, right? So I said, okay, it is what it is. I'm gonna swallow that for now. We're not really trying to, you know, get in a conflict. We've been in a couple of conflicts back to back to back. We're looking to just chill out for a bit. Is what it is, right? When was this? When was this? This was a couple weeks back. I don't know dates exactly, but you know, that was like okay, one thing okay. that kicked off. And then okay. since then, we've had instances. One of our boys was was shot by who we believe to be Cyprus, uh, Max. When we was trying to set up for a heist, he was he was shot out in the toe spot and robbed. Um, again, I was like, you know what? Okay, fine. I'm going to just fucking let it be. It is what it is. And, um, you know, we're not really trying to fight right now. It kind of is what it is. We'll, we'll leave it. And then fast forward to today, we have another instance. You know, your boy Loco is organizing some sort of robbery of my people, whatever. They get the stuff back. I'm like, cool, all right. Now, this situation right here is one of my people felt disrespected after the fact of all the build up of the other shit previously, even though, you know, that gun was returned this morning. I felt he needed to go out of his way to do something. Now, I feel like there's been two or three times where I've gone, you know what? It is what it is. I'm going to leave that for right now. So I'm going to just give you lot the option to do that. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. If it isn't, it isn't. I feel like I've swallowed enough things from your end. If you ain't trying to just be like it, be what it be, then, you know, it can be whatever you make it. Right. So so your boy, your boy was still hurt after the fact that we gave him his shit back. It was, so uh, it was a close friend of the person who got robbed, not a person who got robbed themselves right right so he got he got hurt that that his friend's shit would would give him back or, or take it and then give him back so he came down and he robbed that shit on our block no he felt disrespected from all the build up of other stuff that we've left as well and i think from my end as well to be honest with you the amount of times i've heard the word cyprus in the last three weeks whilst we've been being passive like on my end i'm happy to not get him to give the shit back just on the basis of what we've had to just deal with and, and not fucking push forward with brother the amount of times i have not collected receipts on the shit that you guys have done it, it's it's probably the same amount that you have that you have right now uh with 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 what you uh what you think cypress has done to you now i can't answer for the whole moonshine shit um that has happened that's the first time i'm fucking hearing about it to be honest but um i mean <laughs> Hey, shit happens, right? Your boys rob my boys. Your boys rob my sanitation workers. Shit happens, right? That's the life we signed up for. But, uh, I mean, this is different, SK, all right? Because the beef was squashed. And word is bond, right? We give the shit back. <laughs> he said, word it seemed like it was bond. over. And then we get stabbed in the back. It's not a good look. Listen, and Lucy, to be honest, my it, word it's will stay bond. But where we hold down and where we lay our heads is the south side, right? And unfortunately, the south side harbors a, a, a fair few demons and angry people who haven't been brought up in the nicest way. And sometimes, you know, they feel different to how you might feel about situations. Like you said, there's been shit on both sides that's been ignored. Yep. 
I'm gonna leave this one to the tally. And if you wanna do that, you can. If you don't, then it's completely up to you. I see it from your side. Like, you know, it'd be what it be. I'm just telling you, I've ignored enough shit on your part. I'm willing to, uh, I'm just gonna call this as a, as a uh, equalizer for the, for the past, you know? Oh, so now it's settled. Now the beef is squashed, is what you're saying. I'm telling you right now from me personally, what you're hearing from the leader of the group is it there. That's 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 the fucking retribution at this moment in time. The retribution was the back and forth robberies. The retribution and then the beef being squashed was us giving the shit back. We didn't have to do that. No, you didn't, but you didn't have to lie to my people's faces and drive away in a trunk like a set of giddy fucking girls at a slumber party confessing to a robbery. Like, there's a lot of things that didn't need to happen, Luciano, that did happen. Brother, how many times, how many times, I mean, it's, that, that's, that's just the way things are, right? I mean, if I'm going to call you and ask you if you robbed some of my people, you're probably going to lie to me too. Because that, that, that's just the way it is. No, to be but honest with I, you, if, the difference between those people and my people is we won't lie. If we rob someone, we stand on it. Like, I would tell you plain Jane if we rob someone, just like I'm doing right now. You know, I'd, I'd love to look into that. I'd love to look into that and see and, and, and see who it was that you spoke to. You have any names? The, uh, what, for the moonshine incident? Mm-hmm. I want to say... You know what, let me not, let me not assume. Let me speak to the people who is involved if you want genuine names, because... Yeah, I mean, I'd like I'm to know, to be honest. I'm not familiar with all of the people, you know? I'd like to know, to be honest. I'd like to know. But, um... Okay, so you guys ain't giving shit back then, yeah? This, is that was that what I'm getting? It, it was $6,000 and a fucking pink eye pistol. $6,000 and a pink eye pistol, for me, it's just another tally on the fucking scoreboard, you know? But, what it is to you is what it is to you. Okay. You know, I thought you were a reasonable man, SK. I, I really did. I thought that... I am a reasonable individual, Luciano, but I am also a different man than I was five years ago. I'm not talking about five years ago. I'm talking about... I'm basing that off of... Off of the... Off of the... The resolutions that we've had in conflicts in the past. I would be more than months. open to being more reasonable. Had there not been a past of, of instances that I've had to turn a blind eye to. That's just how it is, you know? Like... How the city goes. Okay. Now, what if I put this on the table? Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit more clarity on both sides. Mm -hmm. And a little bit more respect between the two groups. Hmm? A clean slate. Between the two. Any shit happens on our end, you give me a call. I'll look into it. I'll verify. And then we'll, we'll solve it. We'll resolve it. Same shit on your end. But it's got to be the truth. And nothing but the truth. A clean slate. Now, in order for that to happen, though, SK, in order for us to get that that clean slate and, you know, better understanding between the two organizations, I'm going to need that 6K back and that pink eye pistol. Just as a sign that you are interested Can I be honest in running with you, a clean slate. Luciano, I would... Listen, brother, I, I, would, I, would I will hold my people accountable. Some sort of, like, you know, understanding and agreement between the two sides because... There's a lot, you got a lot of good people on your side and realistically, I'm most of the time happy to do business. I just feel yeah. like within the last month or so, there's been so many signs of just lack of respect, not necessarily from you and the, the people above yeah. you, right? And it's, it's not the core of your group, but you got a lot of people and there's a lot of people in that group who are just happy to kick out at whoever. And we've been in our kind of mm -hmm. staying internal mode. And we've just been sitting back and taking it, which is calm. But I just don't know if I believe that you can say to me, we're going to have a clean slate, we'll be cool. And then there's not going to be three or four people who don't get a memo and they're just on what they want to be on. Brother, you come to me with receipts. I'll look into them and I'll get it done. I'll get it resolved. But what is looking into them? You know what I'm saying? We need... We need... A, I need to know that if I'm going to tell my people to leave yours alone, that yours are going to do the same. Listen, back to the matter is, you got ratty people, I got ratty people. You got reasonable people, I got reasonable people. As long as we can keep everybody under control, you come to me and say, listen, my boys were robbed of, I don't know, fucking $5,000 on my turf or whatever. 
You give me a name, I'll get you that money back. Simple as that. We'll call it a misunderstanding. You get your money back, it is what it is. Same thing happens, vice versa. We keep it respectful. We enter business. We work together on whatever we can work together at. And we keep it clean. Don't need to fight over the shit. But if what you don't want that, business? I mean... Because this is the other thing, right? Like, it's, it's no secret. We... If we're gonna, if we ever look at the option of working together in a business capacity, we need to offer each other something, right? What can what can you offer sure. us? What can we offer you? That's you know, it's sometimes there is no mutual benefits. So I'm trying to hear what you what you propose. What have you got? I you mean, the door idea, opens, the door open, right? A door opens, the door open. Maybe right now Cyprus doesn't have anything to offer, uh, or maybe the manor right now doesn't have anything to offer to Cyprus, but the door is still open. Maybe the manor comes uh, comes across something very interesting. I don't know. Uh, fuck, call this a different type of gun, for example. Maybe you guys can offer it to us. Boom, you're opening the line of business right there. It's it's the fact that the door is open. Opening that door is what's important. Maybe I don't have anything right now to offer you. That don't mean I won't have something down the line. This guy's waffling. When that day comes, I'd rather have a good <laughs> relationship with your people than not. So that means right now you ain't got nothing to offer each other. Cause I'm all for Maybe the future, you know what I'm saying? I am all for the future, but I'm not trying to fucking clean a slate over a potential dream of what could come, you know? Sure. I mean, I don't know what's to come in the future, right? But uh, I, I damn for sure know that, uh, you know, more and more things are going to be coming around town. People are going to be getting their hands on more and more things. Uh, what do you, let me ask you the same question. What do you guys got to offer us? I can be honest and say, to be honest, I don't think there really is anything as of right now that we can offer you. That's fair. Because there ain't much going around, right? You have the same amount of access that I do to, 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 to things. Yeah, as does everybody else in the city. Look, to, to be honest, Luciano, right? Look, I'm not against the idea of hashing things out and getting a clean slate long term and trying to work together on things because you got good people around you. The top of your operation is, you know, no idiots but i think as of right now you know it's what i said we've had our tit for tat we've had our back and forwards and stuff like that yeah he's gone back on the whole this thing squashed and he took what he took off your boy but i'm just gonna see that as another tit for tat and what you do from there is really up to you you know and if we work together in the future we work together in the future it's just see how shit goes okay so this is what I'm getting then. The six thousand dollars and a pink eye pistol. You're willing to throw away an opportunity greater than that between the two of us. Essentially, an olive branch that I'm trying to extend to you right now. But you haven't offered me anything. It's just no. There's no opportunity right now. You're saying you know the ol the olive branch is a is a is a facade. It's a dream saying that could happen no that's not true business-wise sure sure maybe i don't have anything to offer you right now and, and vice versa but what i can offer you is control on my people you come to me with receipts credible receipts and i will put my people under control and i expect the same from you that is what i can offer you right now you're tired of all the fucking bullshit that your people have gone through i can handle that if my people are, 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 are to be blamed and I expect the same from your end. That is what I'm putting on the table right now. You really want to throw that out the window for $6,000 in dirty fucking cash and a poopoo gun because one of your boys was hurt? I don't, I don't think uh, there's anything on the table that interests me right now. Just to be honest. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I appreciate the, uh, the conversation. Anytime. The, uh, My the phone is always on. All right, partner. Well, uh, good luck. Goodbye, Luciano. What's the verdict? I ain't giving them the shit back. Okay. Uh, the the verdict is a lot of yap. To be honest, a lot of yap. He was like, give back the fucking gun and the money and we can start a fresh slate and we can work together in a business operation and whatever. And we can fucking, you know, 
get silent. But I said, right, well, okay, if that's the case, when then what is, you know, what are you proposing? What's the business you can bring? Um, and he just kind of said, we, well, I haven't got anything right now, but maybe in the future we could work together on something. And I just said, I'm not interested until you can present science to me right now. Um, I said, what my boy did, I'm just going to see as a tit for tat for the fact that we was in your trunk and heard you confess to a robbery and the fact that my boy Max was shot and there wasn't anything done about it on our end. We're going to see it as tit for tat. You see it as whatever you want. He said, all right, cool. And then did the call with good luck. So, hey. Sounds like war to me. It might be. Right, I've just called Luciano and said he ain't getting his stuff back. So, um, everyone needs to be Jesus strapped and ready. 